Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully update our custom title. How to do this work, I hope it's very much clear to you. Now friend, in this video I want to discuss about another most interactive things. Here I want to create some of the multiple user and also for all that our user I want to assign some of the roles and permission. Because I want to privilege all that our menu, like super admin will be able to access all that our menu and also for the marketing admin user, he will be able to access some of the particular page, some of the particular option, everything actually you can manage it. How to privilege all that your menu for the different user with using one of the Laravel package as a Laravel is by the permission package. So now in this video, I want to cover everything one by one, which will be related with the Laravel is by the permission package. So first of all, we have to do, we have to install it. It's also supported with Laravel 10. So if you search in Google with the Laravel is by the permission, then you will get this type of one of the references. And here there is some of the of official page of the is B. If you go here, you can see that is a spidey.b and documents that Laravel permission version 5 and that is an introduction. Great. So you have to do, you have to go there and from to this position where they have everything actually ready met. How much easily you can create some of the permission for different user, how can privilege all that your pages, everything is step by step. I will show you with the live example. Okay, so let's do that work. Step by step, I want to do this work. First of all, I want to do and to install it. So if you want to install it here, that is the introduction. And also here you will get that installation in Laravel. So now first of all, I want to open that installation with the Laravel. And here you can see they have some of the common line as a composer show, spidey, Laravel and permission. And also there is all the details. That is a packages as a six. And that is also supported Laravel eight, nine and 10 right great so first of all we have to do have to install it that means we have to run it then we have to uh, add that our provider so that is optional but i also want to do i want to add it in our providers area here we have to add it and then we have to simply publish it so now let's do that work first of all i want to do I want to install it so i want to install it via the composer i want to copy it Okay, I want to copy it and now in our project, into the project that is our real estate project, here I want to do and to paste it. Okay, first of all, I want to do and to install it. Now click as the enter. Now it will be download all that file from to the internet. Here you can see it's now downloading. So it may take little time. Okay, it may take little time. Better when it will be done, then I will come back again. Here you can see friend, it's now successfully installed our package. That means our Spidey package is now successfully installed great and now after that we have to do we have to work a little bit here in our that is optional but i also want to update it in our config in our app.php area into the providers area now we have to add it better i copy it and now i want to go to our project into the project if you go to that config in our app.php then we have to go to that our providers like here you can see that is our providers before I have already added for the image intervention. I want to add another one that will be the spidey permission package and I want to click as a save all. Great. So here our second step is also successfully complete and now we have to do we have to publish it. I want to publish if you copy it here simply copy that total things make that sure you copy total things and then after that we have to publish. Okay. Here I want to do I want to simply publish it. Now it will be generated some of the file in the config that is will be created on the permission.php and also in our migration area it's now created another one as a create permission table.php right now if you go to that our project into the config area it will be created as a permission you can see everything is ready made here you don't need to change anything everything will be just like that same here okay so that is all that our default file as a permission.php and also now in our um, if you go to the database into the migration also it will be created another new migrations file and into the migrations area here if you go it will be now created five different table in your database now that will be created as a role has permission this type of one of the table it will be created model has role table it will be created as a model has permission role and permission table okay so that is the five of this table now that should be created 
okay so that is one of the default uh, migrations file is generated for the permissions great so here we successfully done this job and after that here they recommended to uh, run as a php artisan optimize clear and after that we have to do we have to migrate it that will be as a php artisan migrate i want to also do this work but i copy it okay i want to refresh all that our route so if you want to do this work simply i want to paste it oh sorry here i want to do i want to copy it perfectly i simply copy it and now i want to do and to paste it so now that will be the php artisan optimize clear now click as enter now you can see it's now optimized it's now clean all that our cache as event view cache route and then config and complain great and now after that i want to do and run our migrate because as i told you it will be now added three five of this table now all the table will be added in our database okay that means here it will be added now let's check this out i want to migrate it that will be the php artisan migrate now click as a enter yes you can see that is a running migration for the create permission table and yes you can see it's now successfully generated now let's check this out if you now open and refresh it now that should be five of this table will be added in your database now if you go yes you can see it's now successfully generated one of the table as a role also it's created another table here as a role has permission model has role and then also that will be as a property property type and role has permission and also that should be another table as a permission okay here if you go uh, you can see that is also another table as a permission that means right now it's created five of this table that is one and also it's created as a two three and then it's all be created as a four and five you can see that is actually five of this table is now successfully generated and added in our main database area great great so now if you go also we have to update a little bit now in our user model you can see it's also it will be necessary in our user model area now we have to add that our has role now if you go to here as a basic users okay if you go to that basic users into the basic users here you can see now in our user model okay so into the user model area here now we have to do we have to add it as a has role and that will be comes from to the spidey permission and that is our has role okay now i want to do and to simply add it copy it and now if you go to our user so now we have to update it in our model that means if you go to that our app and that is a models and with the model area that is our user okay so into the user area here we have to do we have to add it i also want to do and to add another one that will be as a has role and has role will be which one here that will be our has role okay i copy it and now i want to do and to add it in here so i simply add it great so make that sure you add that our has role that will be comes from to the spidey permission mm, perfect so that's all you have to do our installation is now successfully done okay here we successfully done it and now we have to actually create some of the code application for the permission and also we have to create another code application for the role okay so first of all i want to complete our permission table that means if you go here as i told you it will be also created another new table as a permission table because here we have to assign all that our permission in particular that area okay so now in our next video i want to complete that code application for the permission okay so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video